the babysitter said that you chewed up watermelon and spit the juice all over Lincoln's head. Did you do that? Why did you do that? Mommy, look at me. The babysitter also said that you insisted on wearing Olivia's pajamas to bed. Yeah, because I, I couldn't find yeah, any. Yeah, he couldn't find any, so I, I let him wear mine because he didn't have any. I hope he didn't pee in it. And <laughs> and what else did you say? That you guys stuffed watermelon down Lincoln's onesie. Well, I did one, but Cody did the rest. Like a lot. You guys have to be nice with our babysitters. And we had a water fight. Yeah, we had a water fight, and she dug, outside. Yeah, and guess what? She dug the bucket bucket full of water, and I got wet the most, so I won. And I, she dunked it on my. Are you head. serious? <laughs> She said that Boston was a good, good boy. Mommy. Oh. <laughs> Mommy. I was trying to make Yeah, him I go. can see what you made, I was Boston. trying to teach him bedtime. Who? Bedtime, Lincoln. Oh. <laughs> but he wouldn't do it. She said that you went to bed perfectly. Look at him like, he's so sweet. Lincoln, look at Mommy. Lincoln, what's this? What's this? Do you guys see his little shiner? <laughs> Grandma has a brass or iron piggy, and he was playing on it, and he got black bumped. eye. Yep, got his first little black eye. It's not as black, but it's a little black. It looks a little more black today than it did the other day. This morning, Olivia, Cody, and Boston woke up, and they came in Lincoln's room, got Lincoln out of the crib, and they've just been playing with toys in and here. I accidentally, I thought that we could clean up before you came in, but I definitely <laughs> In the crib? Yeah. <laughs> That's, like okay. Out of it. That's okay. That's okay. Like yes. That's all right. Hey, as long as you guys are quiet, I didn't care what you were doing in here. But then I had to come in because I heard you guys all fighting. That's Cody was making me scream. He was like, <gasps> It's hot in here. Out. Hey. <laughs> Mom, I sleep good for you. Guess what, you Mama? slept good for me. Oh, why did you do that? Cause You've been sleeping really good actually, lately. Actually, we've been playing with our Nerf gun. That's all right. And guess what, Mama? Seriously, as long as you guys are quiet, I don't care what you do. He's always looking good. The uh, glue is starting to come off. Mm -hmm. And he's been doing wonderful. He's been sleeping through the night. Mm -hmm. And he's just been happy for the most part. He hasn't had to take very much medicine lately. Boston, does your throat still hurt? No, he's been doing really good. The last couple of days he's been taking really big naps. But he's been doing really good. Oh, I need makeup. Are you trying to get your person in there? I saw you. Look at you trying to put your person in the car. Lincoln has been trying to stand up on his own. Look at him push that car. Oh my gosh, like a big, big boy. Good job. Thanks, Olivia. That's so sweet. These are my favorite wood toys. Because they help babies learn how to do them. Maybe, yes. really cute, actually. I like the little firefighter because it comes with like the little ladders. They're so the kids just bombarded our bed. <laughs> Cody's already changed into his swimsuit. And the kids wanted to know what we were doing today. And I don't know why we haven't told them yet, but. Do you know Great Grandma Kerrigan? Mm -hmm. We went to on the 4th of July. and had that fun party at her house. Grandma wasn't doing very good there. She was kind of sick, do you remember? And Grandma was pretty old. She was 98 years old. Well, Grandma, Great Grandma Kerrigan, she, she passed away this week. Really? Yeah. Is she dead? Yeah, that's what passed away means. Yep, she died. And now she's in heaven with Heavenly Father. And all of her sisters who have passed away too. And great grandpa uh, Kerrigan, who I didn't ever meet and you guys never met. So we gotta give you guys baths because you all stink. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> Stinky bath. <laughs> you look good, baby. You look good, Dad. Yeah. You look nice, Olivia. Turn around. Let me see your pretty hair. <gasps> yes. And Boston oh. is not help spit up. Yep, everywhere. Oh. Oh. 
Hold on. Look. <gasps> oh, <laughs> baby. Oh, it's dripping on the floor. Okay. Oh, okay, shoot. As I was saying, Boston is not the most excited to go, but he's what? still no just you recovering. Still you ready, sweetheart? Talking to me or him? You? Yeah, I'm ready. You feeling okay? I think so. Okay. It's bittersweet. I think like all grandparents' funerals. But I think, I think, and I, I don't know if this is the same for everybody else, but I'm excited to celebrate Grandma's life. I'm excited to hear the stories and learn and and I don't know, just have a big family reunion to celebrate. for her life, you know? I'm grateful for it. Grandma's service was beautiful. It was amazing. I think there's few services I've ever been to that were that beautiful and nice and simple and not um, not forced. Yeah. Not overspoken. Just mm -hmm. just to the point mm -hmm. and to what she really was. And that's how Grandma was. She wasn't big and boisterous. She was simple to the point and just was amazing. Tender. And it was beautiful. It was beautiful to hear these stories, these sweet little stories of, of how my grandma lived. She is the generation that I, I cling the most to. Um, I tell Bonnie this all the time. If, if I could do anything, it'd be to go back and live among the generation that, uh, that to me, made this country what it is and that's that's the the depression generation those those people who can take nothing and make a country out of it and that was what grandma uh kerrigan was she had nothing her and my grandpa but now they the, the posterity is unreal just unreal and that's that's what's amazing to me and and i i think i will cherish that and i will love that and just adore her forever because of that I wish that I could record more while we're here, but Joel's family, there's several that don't want to be on YouTube, which that's okay, so we won't record a whole lot, but I wish, I wish we could because this has been a really, really nice day. The children that you heard singing, those were all of Grandma Kerrigan's great-grandchildren, and... 96 of them. There were 96 of them 96 singing. great-grandchildren. One. My grandma, she was, she's 98 years old. She weighs maybe 70 pounds, <laughs> maybe 70 pounds, like wet. But that feeble little old body years and years ago had started a, a posterity and, and it grew into 32 grandchildren, 96 great grandchildren. And then it just keeps going. But that's all one woman. That's because like two people lived a good life and they worked hard and, and they didn't care about anything else in this world, but their kids, their family, and that's what my parents, I think, try to do. They, they, they care about their kids and their family more than anything. I think Bonnie's are the exact same way. Their family is what matters, and and that's why the family is wonderful. She said there's not a bad one in the bunch of them, and there's a lot of us. And and even thinking about, oh man, I've not always been a good, good boy, and and I know my cousins haven't always been good boys either. We used to get in trouble together, but. But there's not a bad one in the bunch of us, and that means she just loves us, and she knows that... She was proud of each of you. ...that we're good. We're good people, and we have potential to always be good. And no matter whatever we've done in life or anything, you can always be good. You can always be better, and, and she expected that and, and taught us that, and I love her for that. Mm -hmm. One of the main messages that one of your uncles was saying was just to keep trying. That's all that she kind of expected of 
all of her posterity was just to keep trying. You just try your best and that's all you can do. And it's enough. There we go, we got all the family in here talking and just hanging out. All of the grandkids are outside playing, letting us adults just play, huh? Huh? We're kind of, kind of just reminiscing about the funeral, talking about the things we liked. I'm getting squirted with a squirt. God, Boston! I wanted to take a moment and tell um, my family how much I love them and how much I care about them and how grateful I am for my ancestors, for the people who have preceded me in life and who have taken care of me and, and have taught me. My grandma Kerrigan taught my mom and my mom's taught me and we're teaching Olivia and Cody and Boston and Lincoln and I'm grateful for these people that have given me such a good life. So thank you and thank you Grandma Kerrigan. I love you so much and we're gonna miss you and I'll always remember you. Bye. Look at my little crawler guy here. He has been so good through this whole funeral to be patient and, and he was, loving. He was with there all day. Yeah, he was. But now he's starting to stand and getting ready to walk. I spent a little bit of time holding him throughout the funeral and it just felt good to hold my children as I was thinking about grandma and just how much she loves us kids and her grandkids and everybody. So this is so fulfilling to me. Bye, bud. Bye, everybody.